Hi everyone, we are back with my top eight of 2016. I was gonna do like a top, not 14, some stupid numbers, but I've been ruthless. I've chopped it down to, these are the only ones I could buy, so any shoe that came out, like the, any Jordan 1, I did not get because I was terrible at trying to get them. So they are not in my top eight because I just couldn't get them. So if I can't get them, then I didn't need, they're not in my personal favorites of this year's releases. So at number eight is the Lunar Charge. I think this is probably Nike's, should have been the follow up to the Roshi one because I think this is better than the Roshi two. So that is my number eight. I think this is, I think this shoe is brilliant. Slip on, slip off for the summer or if you go on holiday, Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant shoe. I'm gonna throw up, literally, probably looks like at the camera. That is my number eight. What is my number seven? Number seven is my French blue. I think these are brilliant. I wish they would have used this lever on the threes, but we'll come to them in a minute. And I wish they would have done that, but the, these are my one of the, there are three 12s in my top eight, and I think this is one, this is the lowest one of the, lowest one of the three? Yes, that's right. And that is my number, what is that? Seven. Brilliant, brilliant shoe of the year. Uh, what else have we got? Then it's my True Blue Threes. Only because I think the quality on these are a bit shocking. I do think that eventually the blue will have to be repainted sooner rather than later because I've already knocked these twice on mine and the paint has already come off. I've already touched it up a little bit, but the tumble lever is a bit shit really at the end of the day. I wish they would have used that lever on the uh, 12s rather than this lever. But apart from that, it is, a, it is a good shoe. I have bought it a few times. Mine hasn't started to crease just yet. But yeah, it is a bit of a piss poor shoe, unfortunately, this year. Hopefully, when they do the next Black Friday release, it will be better. I understand the price increase, putting it to, to what is it? They only put up a fiver over here, so it wasn't too bad. We got it cheaper than the US after tax. So I understand a little why it's a bit say I hate the shoe because of the, the so much of the price increase but if everybody wants the shoe they need to put the price up to put a production but that's an old another story so we'll forget about that but that is my number what number is that six of this year so throw that over there uh my number five no idea what that was my number five is the master 12 I think this is brilliant a simple colorway and again it is I think this is flawless the, whoever made Whoever made this shoe, well, my version has done it completely right. There's hardly any glue. There's, it's just a brilliant, brilliant shoe of the year. And I found one of the hardest. I thought this was one of the hardest shoes to get. But thank God I got them. So throw them over there. What is that? What is next? At number four is the Metallic Fives. Another easy shoe to get. This I thought was a well, well made shoe. I mean, mine's just covered in dust and fluff. It's been on the floor. Uh, but I think this was a great shoe quality was great Nike on the back I thought it was brilliant I mean mine have creased a little bit because I've worn quite a bit of a time since I've had them but I think they're just great nothing nothing wrong with that shoe at all put that over there and at number three at number three I thought about this really hard and I didn't know really what to put in and it is the Jordan 4 white cement only because I think it's just gonna as soon as I wear this shoe I haven't worn it yet because I've still got a 2012s just because I think it's going to crease massive over the toe compared to 2012. I know that was a terrible lever as well, but that for me was a better lever than I think this leather because this is just going to crease completely. Tad's got an Nike on the back, which makes it such a better shoe, but it was on par with the flu games. But I think the flu games just edge it out because I think the quite, even though I didn't think the quality was great on these, I think it is a little bit better than these. I mean, put it in the comments which you think is the better shoe. But for me, I think the flu game was number two, brilliant, brilliant to have this back. I mean, I remember it last retro, I didn't get it because it was suede and it had a little symbol on the side and, 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 and no, no. this is the exactly sound like the original. So very happy with these at number two. And of course, number one is a Space Jam. Exactly how it's supposed to be, either with the 45 on the back, Mark did play in the 45 on the back. I know it's not in the film, but when it was in the NBA, it did play with 45 on the back. There's bound to be a few videos, go and have a look around, you'll see. But I think that is the perfect shoe. I mean, I've worn it quite a bit since I've had it, and it has started to crease a little bit on the panty leather. But at the end of the day, it's only a pair of shoes. Just wear your shoes. But they are my top eight of 2016. So 
try and be all over again. I think the next shoe will be, hopefully, will be the Black Cat 13s. I think they're out the 21st of February, January. I don't know when, but that'll be the next video. So please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.